Um, for each member of the, of the panel, I'd like for you to explain for our audience a little bit of who your, who your the demographics are of your users. So uh, I'll start with you, Mike. Well, it's interesting. Our user base are artists, period, and of story where people come, they use our tools, they track information. But they, we believe that our customers, the artists, their customers are obviously the fans, so you have to create a relationship there. So when we look at it, we talk specifically to the artists, and that's how we measure ourselves. But how we look at how much the artist engages with us as a function of how much they use us to communicate with their fans. So in that sense, I guess we're kind of split. So and then that's what we look at. So when we say, I have 140,000 artists, that's saying, that's my customer base. When I think about how they use our stuff, I look at, well, how many of the fans do they touch? So we profile 2.2 million of their fans. We touch 20 million of their fans. They touch 20 million of their fans through our stuff. So that's the way I think about it. It's sort of concentric circles where the center of this thing is the artist, and it's how they reach out. That's my perspective, and it's their perspective. Could you break that down by genre and... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's interesting. Um, we're pretty evenly split between sort of, if I put kind of hip-hop, R&B, kind of into one group, that represents about 38% of our site. Sort of rock, all rock, stuff like that, about another 30% and then everything else fills in the middle. Fills in the middle. Classical, jazz, country, everything else. Ali, some insight into your demographic users? Um, so in the U.S., our biggest point of presence is Facebook. Um, we, um, you know, and, and we our user base generally mirrors the Facebook demographic, which uh, is now pretty broad from you know from 13 to 60, uh, but is definitely has the, the hump is around the uh, uh, 18 to 25 year olds, basically people who are currently in college or were in college in the last few years. Um, as far as music tastes, um, pretty much run the gamut. I would say there's a little bit more emphasis on um, uh, uh, acoustic and rock genres than you might expect. Um, you know, maybe that's because again of the college-based uh, uh, skew. But outside of Facebook, we're now you know because of High Five, we're now uh, you know very have a very strong presence in Latin America and Europe. Because of Bebo, we have strong presence in uh, in the UK, and you know, across the board, I think we're we're a you know we're a syndicated platform that kind of rolls along with each of these uh, each of these distribution points, and so the demographic is always expanding. And our our goal is not to reach any one age or gender or music taste, but to kind of be everywhere that people love music. Jeremy, you mentioned that your demo is really young. Could you share that with the audience? Well, our, like Ali's, our demographic mirrors MySpace, and it skews younger, um, primarily 14 to 18, 14 to 21, somewhere around in there. Um, but it's growing older, just like MySpace when it started out. The early adopters were the, the younger crowd, and we're seeing that same kind of trend, because we're it's increasingly um, more and more over the age of 18, um, as kids telling their parents that have been using the site. And, I'm sure a lot of you guys have never heard of Project Playlist or Playlist.com, but if you ask any of your children or uh, nephews or nieces or neighborhood friends, I'm sure they're all on it, or the majority of them are on it, and that's where we really know our sweet spot. Um, we're about 93% U.S. based, um, and so that's where uh, our sweet spot is as well. Um, and the, probably the biggest section, or the biggest genre on our site is rap, so that's... And then after that, it's the top 40. It's a lot of the popular stuff that you know, we link to MySpace, we link to all the other sites out there, and uh, most of them are the top 40 stuff. Uh, 